All right, everybody. Welcome back to Dangan Rampa. Trigger happy havoc. Uh, we just uh, got done talking to everybody over here, and then somebody called us. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go talk to the uh, people who called us. Monokumas. Doop 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 doop. doop. And here we go. Now, uh, I'm really curious why these are closed off, but I assume that I can open these up later on, so time will tell. Gymnasium, let's see, what do we got here? Is that a katana? That's cool. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. Huh. Huh. I can relate to that. <laughs> it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. At this point in time, yeah, because... Kind of locked in. Why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? The they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well said, Ogami. <laughs> well, hell. It ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's get this over with. Hey, damn it. hey where's whoever called us here? Ondo, stop running. I shall go too. Mundo goes for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> hey, hey, wait. Don't leave me here all alone. That actually kind of startled me for a second there. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, time for some more tutorial action. Yeah! You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can inter interact with. Sorry for the late notice. But Oh, that's kind of cool. Does it actually change? Oh, it's, it does actually, a little bit. So, uh, let's talk to uh, Kitty Kitty. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's not the, uh, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Maybe I'm just imagining that. What's behind her? A display case. There's all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fact, blah, 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 tiny fraction of all their awards. Um. Sayaka, what do you got to say? Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Uh, alcohol? Ah, I don't know. Monitor. School has a lot of TVs. They couldn't all just just be for that weird school broadcast, could they? I think you would be surprised. Junko! This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Uh, is that? No, I couldn't. Camera. Camera! I want to talk to the camera! There we go. Another surveillance camera. I feel like we're being watched every second. I don't like it. Yeah, okay, I've, I've got to through the door. Man, it, you gotta actually, like, wait for it to register. Kind of annoying. Still filled with unease. Uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. People. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. See? Told ya. It's totally normal. Oh, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hiro was white. But in a way, that just emphasizes how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Okay. <laughs> sure. I don't have to read that one. One of the crazy CG. Huh? Uh, 
Right there. This here is Monokuma. I am familiar with you. I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! Yeah. And I am this school's headmaster. The headmaster is a bear? Well, I mean, a bear thing? It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was... Utterly... Incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. The pleasure is mine. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety had been carry I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? What? That teddy bear can talk? Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. I told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. <laughs> Did you just whisper your master? That's fucking creepy. <laughs> I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. What? It moved. Seriously, man. Calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? Cut me deep, deeper than a, a Mariana Trench. Okay. My remote control system is so complex. Even the folks at NASA can't e uh, can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me say stuff like that might destroy NASA's dreams. NASA. I just couldn't bear- Oh, fuck. Gonna be this again. Well. Bear that? Really, you are unfortunate. I agree! Hmm. <laughs> now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Hmm. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so... Hmm. He has abandoned the gag. Good. Everyone, stand at attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? All right. Good morning. What's your problem? You don't have to say back. Now then. Now then. Let us commence with the utmost with an with a ut. Oh, this is gonna go well. Let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. Oh, I'm off to a good track. First, let's talk a, a bit about what your so a school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake. You few students, so full of potential, represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live in a communal life together, slowly within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh. Ah. Now then, regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. I don't really think you're assigned that. I think you're just kind of sentenced that. What did you just say? Until the day we do die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't uh, lack for all the common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about me making that dirty, dirty... Wait, you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? It's all those metal plates all over the school. There to keep us trapped in here? 
That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So, with all that in mind, feel free to live out your dreams, your life here, with reckless abandon. Come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke, a bunch of skeptics, all of you. But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you were taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. When the time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter, all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? Now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to hey, leave. Um... Oh, but, you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. R really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would love to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Okay. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. God, what is wrong with my eye? Ah! As I mentioned, in order to maintain the, an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That is my students. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. But murder? Stabbing, strangling, plunging, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it, it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Chill shot down my spine. Ugh. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. Hoo hoo hoo. I bet that got your brain juice flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, right? Or huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know. Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? Kill each other is it's to kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. We know what it means. It's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? <laughs> what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. I think he summed that one up perfectly. Oh shit, that's creepy. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let's go, let's go, let us go, let us go. Keep on saying that. Same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it. And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead and uh, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Alright, come on, how long are you going to keep this up? Eh? You got us, okay. You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick. No. Right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Ah! Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh my god, it's like 2010 again. Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards 
kicked off and launched himself in the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. Oh. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What, no smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Watch out, get rid of it. Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it. I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... The hell? That... That sure as shit wasn't a joke. Who the hell up? There's a painful ringing in my ear and I can smell gunpowder. Explosion might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but... It's but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But, you know, it means that's intelligent. Destroyed, right? I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! There's another one. Damn you! You son of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now. Well, yes, I was seriously tr about trying to kill you. I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. I need not a boy or girl who violates my rule. Won't get off with just a little swat this on the butt. Hey, so just... I mean there's like a bunch more of you somewhere? Yep. Monokuma's has been placed all throughout the school, yes. Please. Uh, plus, don't forget, like surveillance time is installed. Everywhere. Ah! Fuck! And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw it happen, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So, don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Now then, lastly, to commemorate our your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Inventive. Ahem, yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many notes. Unbelievable. Oh shit, I don't remember how to go back. Action. Or, what is this? So F2? No? I don't remember. Hmm. Whatever. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, and it'll keep on ticking. Thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 times. Very resilient, resistant. I need a break for a second. Okay. It needs all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. 
same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial if we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundant, dreary school life, and see ya! That he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or kill? But what, what just down. happened? Everyone needs to calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we've heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. Now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. It all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? For that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized a true, true terror hidden within the rules book that laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those rules had planted vicious thoughts. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? That was how my new life, uh, school life school, which, had, which had come out of nowhere, raised my hopes so high. Not a school of hope. School of despair. That's the bosta. That's the bosta. Hey, welcome to despair. The end. I completed the prologue. Woot woot. Surviving students, 15. So I assume that that number's not going to stay 15 for much longer. Okay, well, since I got past that point, I think that's uh, a good place to stop. Um, thank you all for tuning in. You know what to do. Hit the buttons down there. Because everybody else has told you, so I might as well. Too. But uh, we'll continue this next time. Bye. Oh God.